again like I always say to you guys enjoy your life life is too short live life to the fullest do what makes you happy this is what makes me happy so you know what I'm gonna do it I couldn't give a toss who is looking at me Birmingham tree less than one and I'll tell you the reason why what's the crack what's the story what are you doing in my washing machine get out of my washing machine <laughs> How are you guys doing? It's Friday the 26th of January, 26th, yeah, today's gonna be a good day. We're gonna walk to town, talk some football, explore Birmingham City Centre, hope you guys love it, let's go. Breakfast is served, look at that, toast, baked beans and cheese, I'm addicted to this. I have this at least three times a week, at least. Let me know anyone else loves toast, baked beans and cheese like me. Let me know what you guys think about my socks for the day. <laughs> I love these socks. Let me know what you guys think down below. What's the story people, we're finally outside and it's absolutely freezing I had to go back inside to grab this jacket I don't know what I was thinking, going outside with just a jumper It's cold, <laughs> it's cold and it's windy and it's windy What a week it's been, it's been a beautiful week, it's absolutely flown by But you know what, I feel like January has been so long It feels like January the 68th, it's the 26th but it feels like the 68th <laughs> Oh my god, but yeah, big massive game in the weekend, we're playing Leicester City the last time we played Leicester City, we lost 3-2. Oh, that game absolutely pissed me off. I'm so sorry for the language. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I was absolutely annoyed because, you know, I feel like we could have actually got something out of it. But we only started playing the last half an hour. But coming to this game now, looking at Tony Mowbray's interview, we can get something out of this. I feel like we can actually get something out of this. He spoke about how we're leading 2-0 against Stoke City and we kind of sat. We can't do that against Leicester City. You gotta keep going. But he said that we did that because that's what we used to do with Eustace. Whenever we were winning 1-0, 2-0, we felt like we can just stop playing. But going forward, when we score two goals, let's go for the third goal, the fourth goal, the fifth goal. Let's kill teams off. Let's not start thinking, oh my God, we're gonna concede. We gotta stop doing that. Oh my God, there's a guy coming. I don't wanna get your back up. Go on, mate. Sound, sound. <laughs> when I'm vlogging, the looks I get. I love the looks, I don't care, I don't care. Oh yeah, on another good news, J stands for the stain. J stands for the stain. I seen the interview uh, with, um, not, not the interview, sorry, I'm saying the interview. I seen the announcement on Twitter and I was so, so happy. He scored nine goals so far. I'm surprised Fulham didn't take him back, you know. I'm absolutely surprised. But to be fair, their strikers are doing well in the Premier League as well, so they're not too asked about taking him back. But yeah, nine goals. And I feel like as long as we have, you know, Stansfield fit, we've got flipping, you know, Donovan fit, we've got Dembele fit, we've got um, uh, Bakuna fit, them, that front three, that front four, pff, ridiculous. Even Mowbray said he trusts Stansfield, he can play in the left and the right, behind the striker, up front, he can play anywhere. Alright, boys. Yeah. What's up, man? You guys watch football? Yeah. You got, what team do you support? I support Arsenal. Birmingham City? <laughs> what's up, Birmingham City? Nah, nah. nah no one. Ah, all right, I'm say no more. Have a good one, yeah. Also, against Leicester City, we have to realize Leicester they're gonna have the ball probably 70% of the time. They, they're gonna have the ball whether we like it or not. But it's about what we do when we get the ball. We have to do something. We have to be very effective. What's up, man? <laughs> Some random guy just went like that <laughs> to the camera. All right, bro, you good? Yeah. You all right? How are you? <laughs> I love, I love people like that. <laughs> he seen me. He goes, <laughs> life is too short. Be happy. Look at that. The sun is shining on me. But it's cold. It's cold. Don't be deceived. It's absolutely freezing. <laughs> but yeah, I wish I could go to the game tomorrow. I can't. I can't. You guys know I've got a game myself. You know, I love playing football so much. You should see my goal. Go check out on Twitter. I posted on Twitter and TikTok. My goal. Woo! It's like, I don't want to say Messi. Messi is taking it too far. He's taking it a bit too far. I got the ball in the midfield, ran in, caught in, took three players on, slot it, bottom left. What a finish. What a finish. Mm. Someone said Birmingham City is signing up. That's taking too far. <laughs> That's taking it a bit, a little bit too far. But yeah, uh, I feel like regardless of the result tomorrow, my thing is as long as we play well, I'm happy. As long as we could just play well, I'm happy with that. We could lose 2 0 tomorrow. I couldn't care. As long as we have a good game. Because let's be honest, yeah, we're not going to win the cup. We're not going to win this cup, let's be honest, yeah. It's just about the league, it's about where we're, where we're finishing the league. And I feel like as long as we play well, and then going forward, just keep playing well. That's what it matters. We haven't lost a game under Tony Mowbray in three games. Yeah, we've won two, drawn one, I think, isn't it? Yeah, we've won, uh, won two, drawn one. And I feel like that's what it's all about. Just literally keep the momentum going, keep the players looking well. The market is very busy today. It's very, very busy. Yeah, let me know. You guys come to this market often. 
Look at very, very, very busy. Oh my days. I remember I used to get, when I first came to Brom, I used to get uh, a few apples and bananas here. <laughs> They're so dirt cheap, but I don't do that anymore. Oh, yeah. When I first came to Birmingham, I used to get over here. Yeah, busy day, busy Friday. It's a cold, cold Friday. Hopefully, everyone have a lovely, lovely, nice weekend. I'm gonna be walking by that church that, uh, that up the hill of the church by in town. I get so tired when I'm walking that up the hill. And the looks I get, <laughs> I'm getting crazy looks. Again, like I always say to you guys, enjoy your life. Life is too short. Live life to the fullest. Do what makes you happy. This is what makes me happy. So, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I couldn't give a toss who is looking at me. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I used to care, no I don't. <laughs> Look at that. Oh god, live your life. Yeah, next week I think we're playing West Brom next week. That's gonna be a tough, tough game. Are we away? I have to make that game. Regardless of me having a game, I have to be there. That's a big, 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 big derby. Last game against West Brom, we bet them 3-1. That's when Gardner scored a free kick, that lovely, beautiful free kick. What a goal. And Sanderson scored a goal in that game as well. And that's one play I want to see score. Because you guys don't realise how much love I have got for Sanderson. Because he's a player that doesn't get as much recognition as he deserves. You know, people pick out stuff. Like anytime he makes a little mistake, people pick that out. But this guy does so much good stuff in the game. I'm not sure if you guys seen the replay, the highlight of the last game. The, the balls were switching, unbelievable. But I think going forward, hopefully he gets more goals for the team so he can get way more respect. Because that's all we care about. We only care about Dembele when he scores. We only take care about Miyoshi. See, I'm getting tired. Because I'm walking up the stairs. <laughs> you guys know these stairs. <laughs> these awful stairs right here. Give me a minute. <sighs> cut, 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 cut. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's continue. That stairs kills me every time. Like, I'm very, very fit. I'm a very, very fit young man. But that stairs absolutely kills me. <laughs> but yeah, against West Brom, it's gonna be very, very tough. I'm glad we've got Tony Mowbray, someone that's very, very strong. A uh, manager that's been through everything. He's been through all this all these derbies. It's not gonna phase him. I think if it was Rooney and we're playing West Brom against, I'd have been a little bit scared. But Tony Mowbray, he's done it with Sunderland. He's had loads of derbies with Sunderland, you know, in, in the northeast. But going forward, I can see Birmingham doing really, really well. And I still believe we can finish top 12. I'll say top, top 12. I'm walking by the bull right now. Should we go near the bull again? It's going to be really busy. A lot of people are going to be looking at me in the bull. Let's go. Let's go chat to the bull, innit? Come on, let's have it. Hello? Hello. You alright? <laughs> How are you? <laughs> oh, I love it, say hello back. I love it. I keep saying, if you see me in town, you better say hello. But yeah, my score prediction this weekend, I'm gonna say Birmingham 3, Leicester 1. And I'll tell you the reason why. Because once if Birmingham score, Leicester are gonna come or gone blazing. They're gonna feel like they're gonna, they're gonna have to score. And that's when there's gonna be O's in their defense. I don't see it being 1 0, 2 0. Or, you know, I can see just two goals in between. Sorry, look at that. I'm getting right by the ball. But yeah, I'm saying 3 1. And my goal scorers this weekend, I'm gonna say Dembele. I'm gonna go for uh, Miyoshi again. Yeah, Dembele, Miyoshi, and uh, Jordan James. Yeah, Jordan James. <laughs> and then Mavididi for Leicester. I think that's the main player to watch out for. Mavididi for Leicester. He's unbelievable. What a winger. I'm not gonna, like, you can't even chat shot about him. Mavididi and Dewsbury Hall. What the two players? No, Mavididi, he scored a goal against us last time. Sick goal. I'm not gonna chat shit and say that wasn't a sick goal. That was a very, very good goal. I'm walking by JD. That's a place you never see me go. Like, you don't see me go to JD. I don't really go JD. And also, Lush. Let me know, lads, have you ever been to inside the shop? Lush. <laughs> they sell soaps there, you know, bath soaps and all that. I'm not going to Lush. <laughs> And also, who goes into Tui? Do you know the, the Tui, the traveling agent? Who goes there? I'm not complaining, I'm just saying, if I'm, if I'm traveling, I go online. So I'm, supply, I'm surprised as to why they still have shops, you know, physical shops people go to. I don't go to Tui. I'm also walking by my Audion Cinema, the cheapest cinema in town. Come here, it's only five pounds. Five pounds for ticket. I told you guys the story when I first came to Birmingham. I used to live literally up there. I used to live right up there. <laughs> I lived there for a year when I first came to Birmingham City. So the cinema was downstairs and I used to use permanent TSBs, free Wi-Fi, because they were literally downstairs below me. I used to use a free Wi-Fi for a year. <laughs> oh God. The stories I have for you guys is unbelievable. I've been in this city for about six years now. 
and I've got so many, so, so many stories. So yeah, walking through now, there's few people playing. Birmingham is full of so much history, you know. You never know what's gonna happen. Look at this lovely guy. Look at this lovely guy. Look at that. Look at that. I wish I had some coins on me though. I wish I had some cash. I don't. You never see me carrying cash. I don't carry actually cash. I don't. <laughs> if I have cash on me, I have to get rid of it. Not throw it away, but I have to buy something. I just don't like carrying stuff in general. Even wearing coats. I don't like wearing coats. I run, sometimes I run at the cold, but not today. It's way too cold today. Walking by uh, HSBC now. I've actually never been inside this HSBC. HSBC and uh, this DJI store. DJI Asobad. Even like uh, drones and all that, they sell that in there. Whew. I like Birmingham. I love Birmingham. Man. Come on. Look at that. Ooh. Is that Birmingham or San Francisco? <laughs> I'm a little bit confused. Because you never, you never know what you're going to see in Birmingham. There's a guy here preaching, you know. You never know. You meet different characters. You just never know. <laughs> That's why when Birmingham City gets so much abuse, I'm like, why? Why are you abusing Birmingham? I've literally, I've met the, probably the best people in my life in Birmingham City. I met my girlfriend here. I keep saying to you guys, I met some good friends here. It's just unbelievable the city. I just appreciate your city. Don't tear it down. Obviously, it's not, it's not perfect, but you'd be surprised by what you find if you actually just explore it and just try to, you know, enjoy it, literally. Ah, I'm walking by Rolex. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Rolex. Let me know what you guys think. Look at this Rolex watch right here. Look at that. <laughs> How much is that? Uh, 11 grand. 11,000. For what? To tell the time. 11,000. Like I'm not like if I ever buy a Rolex, I'm buying it to, to, to sell it. I'm probably literally buying it to resell it. I don't I never get the old thing of you know me wearing a watch that costs like 20 grand to tell time. I would never really understand it. Like why would you do that? Like why? Man, I'm not recording you, relax. <laughs> There's a lady walking by and she literally turned her head all the way to the left side so I don't record her. I'm, like, I'm not gonna record you. I don't I don't go off recording people, I just record myself. I'm literally about to walk with Tim Hortons now. Grab my food. There's a guy coming up here now, so it's gonna be noisy. Grab my drink. Uh, is it gone? Is it gone? It's almost gone. It's almost gone. I think it's gone. I think it's gone. Yeah, I'm gonna say Birmingham C3, Leicester C1. Let me know your predictions down below. Let me know if you enjoyed the vlog. Let me know what your favorite part of the vlog is. Yeah, hopefully I can do this every week, every Friday for you guys. I really enjoy it. And uh, stay safe. See you soon. Bye-bye.